Alright guys, how's it going? So I'm going a little bit old school here, and when I say old, I'm talking six year old. <laughs> but I did receive an update 18 days ago, and it's called Tube Tool. It's on GitHub, it's available for free, links in the description down below. Now, I've covered a lot of tools like this, yeah, you've got Pipeinator, and I believe you've got another kind of Tube Tool. But this is very simple and it's very basic and it just does the job to be honest. Now we'll quickly jump into Blender and we'll take a look at this horrible cup that I've modelled. I'll quickly tab into edit mode and all you need to do here is select two polygons. So I'm going to select this polygon and this one. I'll right click and you can see here, add tubing. Now what we can do here is we can actually control the amount of V cuts. So this is a vertical and this is a U. So we can actually up the subdivision, we can even enable smoothing if we would like. We can enable wireframe on and off, and we can control the handle and the radius. So radius 2 will essentially control here, so if I can put this up a little bit, I can make it far, and obviously I can make it thinner here, so let's just kind of balance it out a little bit. And this is great for creating pipes, or in my case, a handle, and it is very simple. Now, one thing about it is, when you go to convert the mesh, it seems to throw up a Python error, but I'm not too worried about this, to be honest. I can easily, quickly jump into object mode, select the object, and you'll actually notice that we've got a few options in terms of the geometry. We can even extrude and things like this. It basically creates a curve and then just meshes it for you. But what we can do here is, we can go to object, convert, mesh from curve, and now we have topology. Pretty simple, to be honest. And just as another example, what I'm going to do here is I'll press Shift and 8, I'll add in a quick cube. Got to have the default cube somewhere, and I'll just do another quick cube. So let's move this up here. And what we can do is we can select the both of them, tab in edit mode, and I'm going to select this face and this face. I'll right click and add tubing. And let's control the radius to something like this. And you can see the curve actually being created underneath, so you can always can manipulate this later on. And that's pretty much the tube tool. There's no magic happening, it's just a nice workflow tool. And like I mentioned, there is other tools that kind of do the same job, but I'm just making you aware of it. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, support me in Gub Road, follow me on Twitter, you know what to do.